hello friend my name is chandramani and welcome to you all uh, for today's lesson so today we will uh, talk about uh, like uh, active directory administrative center if you uh, we already worked in uh, you know server 2012 r2 but if you look at there is a new console which is called active directory administrative center if you open the manage uh, the server manager console if you go to here there is one console if you look at like active directory administrative center it's a totally new console uh, if you people already use in uh, windows server 2k8 r2 or 2k8 uh, i think there is there is no console like this active directory administrative center so today we talk about the active directory administrative center and what this console is having what about all this active cent uh, administrative center okay so to open this console just click over here so i al already opened here if you look at this is the console active directory uh, administrative center before starting this uh, uh, oh topic i just to confirm you like uh, uh, to getting the new videos of mine you can subscribe my channel and uh, if you really like my video you can uh, like uh, uh, this video also or other videos also have you can watch it and enjoy because it's totally free of cost to getting the free videos you just do one thing that is subscription that's it nothing else so enjoy guys and uh, let's going uh, going in uh, here like uh, uh, what we talk about administrative center right uh, it, it's an administrative console but if you look at your administrative console the lot of learning uh, uh, stuffs here if you look at like learn more about the active directory administrative center use active directory administrative center manage it task use active directory module of windows powershell find answer of active directory forums and deploy the dynamic access control i think you people know about the access control like the its permission kind of things and the powershell some people might be aware with it and it's a latest technology because every power powershell is a old technology but you know nowadays it's growing everyone should know about the powershell because this console windows server 2012 uh, bring with uh, some exciting futures but uh, uh, out of that uh, today we will discuss about some future because in administrative center like active directory administrator console having that future what the features are there first feature i can tell you that is the recycle bin if you look at the guys whenever we you know in the old time whenever we delete some objects in active directory at that time uh, there are a lot of you know confusions and the lot of complications was there to restore the data that means whenever you, you whenever we delete some object like you know uh, active directory user and computers we went and i uh, delete some ous or like accidentally some delete that time there are a the lot of confusion and the lot of process to recover the data right it's a authoritative wake up not sorry authoritative restore non-authoritative restore there are the you know things are you know not good at that time it was very complex to you know recover we can recover but it, it was very complex but nowadays if you look at here if we go to here just you know open uh, like uh, it's a uh, if you look at here all this stuffs like containers objects uh, uh, everything is came here but whenever we talk about the active directory and objects people always uh, you know, focus on the active directory user and computer console right which is uh, here which is here in tool active directory user and computers correct but if you look at this administrative console even though here also you will get all the six that means in one console you will get everything over here if you look at the right side of this console there is a enable recycle bin i'm just talking about the recycle bin right it was in the very complicated and very complex to recover the object and the earlier stage but today in 2012 r2 the microsoft have given the flexibility you know to recover the all objects that just restore like whenever we delete some folder files from the computer and uh, like i'm not talking about the safe delete it just delete so it will stores in the safe i mean recycle bin and whenever you want you can right click and restore it right but same the way object also like how it will happen so we will do it uh, do it on this but to to enable to you know getting the recover from the recycle bin first you need to enable the recycle bin there is one option guys if you click over here so it asking for the enable recycle bin 
confirmations why because once you enable it it cannot be disable so remember this thing it is telling like uh, please refresh the id administrative center now then it will enable okay so how you will refresh it just here you just refresh so now it is deactivated if you look at here and your uh, uh, and, uh, recycle bin has been enabled here correct if you look at there is a one more folder it came like deleted object so what if you look if you click over here so there is no object found right now because uh, we didn't delete anything right let's go to the computer again here and uh, there are the users right if you go to users the what are the users we have that is here and we can create the users correct so let's do here right click over here or right click over here and i mean you can navigate node from here otherwise you right click here go to the new and users we can create users objects computer or objects organizational unit from here also we no need to go to like active directory user and computers but the uh, the the graphical user interface mode is very different if you look at it's a completely one uh, window where you will get the all option but whenever you create an object on the active directory user and computer console there is a, some window different windows first you need to create the user id type the user then the password option there are the options options are there and often you should ask like and you have to put the options and do the next 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 but if you look at here to creating the accounts uh, it's a just one window not a different window it's just one window it contains all the things over here correct so let's try uh, let's do create one user like i can create user one test okay so so this this console having the you know a uh, lot of good things uh, for the administrator and it's easy to do all these things in one place because uh, we are not a multiple window there is no complexity or no complex to create these things right so we can provide the password here okay okay so now here the options are there user password options uh, password never expire you can I mean, the, whatever the options are there you can it is there you can do it right and uh, there are other options also there you can fill up like telephone number department company manage address everything you will do it here from here okay so this is the what one console one uh, window you will get everything over here correct so it is this account if you want to organization you can put it here in the member of you can put it here everything in one window you will get all the thing so i have created one user that is called the test correct so press ok so now my user account has been created correct if you go down here sorry where i create test right this is the test user i have created correct okay so if you look at this window in, in the bottom of this window there is a bin power cell history because in 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 windows of 2012 r2 there is one more uh, the in the best future i can say it's a, a very flexibility feature it's it's learning prospective features uh, it's given by microsoft that is uh, windows power cell history uh, you it, it maintain the history whatever we are doing in the console whatever we are doing in the server uh, it maintain the history with the commandlet with the historic view of commandlet there is a powershell command right so let's open this one let's click over here if you look at so what the historic view is there like uh, i have created one uh, test right id so if you look at here first i enable the ad optional feature that is the you know password for, that is enable password and after i created the ad user right to getting copy options i'll also there here you copy and you know do some troubleshooting and learning prospect it is very good stuff right so this is what there is a new feature it's called a it's maintain the history with powershell correct 
so it, it, it is really very good feature for me and it's learning perspective also you can copy this command you can do the r d you can learn the things okay from here also this is what actually the future also so there are two features we have learned one is recycle bin but recycle bin okay so let's do one thing let's delete this object correct are you sure you want to delete? yes i want to delete correct now the object has been deleted but the earlier what you would do what you would have been done like if the, your your uh, object has been deleted and uh, then in that situation what you would have been do nothing right you have to the process like uh, authoritative non-authoritative these you know kind of things the, the complex things you have to be do right but now what's simple just go to the deleted object here if you open it the test is there just right click over here and restore it once you restore if you go to this again my company here you will get the test user again so this is a very simple it can be recoverable okay this is the nice feature i can see here and the second uh, second is the it's a historic view right and third is I can tell you this is the very 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 good feature that is the fine grain password policy what is that fine grain password policy see it's the policy whenever you create uh, uh, it's password policy it's a container right it's a container user is a container it's a container so if you go to the here there is a system is container is there right if you click over here there are a lot of options are there right in this option the password setting container is there right so what the fine grain password policy in the earlier we have the one policy for the all right but now you can create the multiple policy for the users and objects remember i'm telling the word it's a user and object for user and object not for OUs or other things the policy can be applied only for the users and groups not for the other like OU domain these are not be applicable right so let's do let's try and do these things if you click over here it will come over here otherwise yeah it is their password container setting uh, uh, what you will do here you just click the new bottom password setting look at the view and this historic view also it is creating whatever you're doing so it will maintain the history of for the powershell correct so it is asking for the name uh, uh, like uh, you can give the name for the like I can create this uh, uh, for my uh, for my HR group okay this password policy for the HR group and uh, there is the precedence you can give uh, what is the precedence like there are the four five policies are there but uh, uh, which precedence you want like i can press one like okay and there are the enforcement minimum password is these are the c uh, hr people you know so i just wanted i don't no need to you know uh, make it complete uh, uh, i mean complex so that's what what i will do uh, what i will do here i just make some policies here correct and uh, after making some policies i add the group and users i telling you right group and users no domains or use anything right so i will apply it to test correct now i have added it so accordingly you can add the group also note oh you remember the password policy the fine grain password policy this is the latest feature new feature in 2012 r2 and 2012 but it should be applied to object of test and group not for the ou okay so once i created this press okay so look at so you know it is like coming what i did here fine grain password policy i've created if you look at the historic view so you can copy this command you can do the r and you can learn this command also correct this is the how guys active directory administrative center and uh, all of these things in one place and it is very very you know fantastic feature according to me and also you love this uh, lesson also so thank you very much for watching this uh, lesson and enjoying this video do not forget to subscribe my channel and see you guys. Bye.